All right, so I'm going to put together this little review video just for you to help with the, so you have some, a little bit of help with the quiz tonight um, or for the test, too. This is greatest common factor um, kind of versus least common multiple. I want you to know the difference so you can kind of see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of split the screen down like this, and then I'll do greatest common factor on the left side over here and least common multiple on the, on the right. Then you kind of have an idea. I'm going to do both ways with factor trees first. So you can see how they're kind of the same, then you can see some differences. And I'll do it with the same group of numbers so that it will help you um, kind of distinguish between the two. So again, I'm going to use the same numbers, but just one of them I'm finding the greatest common factor and the other the least common multiple. So I'm going to start off with making my factor trees. And what you'll notice is both factor trees on both sides are going to be identical. It's what you do at the end is what makes the difference. Just to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and factor um, the GCF of 24 and 40. I'm going to do the fact or the prime factorization first, so you, then you can pause it and kind of see where I went. Okay, as you can see, I took 24, and I started off with 6 times 4. Then I went down the tree, and I said 3 times 2 is 6, and then four times or 2 times 2 is 4. Same thing over here. I started with 4 times 10. I get left with 2 times 2 times 5 times 2. Now I'm finding the greatest common factor. The first thing you want to list are all of the, or the prime factorization of each. So 24 would equal 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, where 40 would equal 2 times 2 times 5 times 2. This is where you find pairs. So I look up at the top, I've got a, I start off here, with a 3. Are there any 3's down here? No. So there's no pair. Remember this is like the go fish one. Then I have a 2. I also have a 2 here. So that means I'm going to circle my pair. So I look for more. I've got another 2 here and another 2 here. So I have another pair. Continuing down the line, I have a 2 here and I have another 2 here, but there's a 5. doesn't matter. I still have another pair. So I circle those 2. I don't do anything with the 5 because there's no pair to match up here. I don't do anything with the 3 because there's no 3 to match up here. Now, all I simply do is write one of the pairs that I find. So I write 2, that took care of this one, times 2, that took care of this one, times 2, that took care of this one. I don't do anything with 3 and 5. I multiply them together. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So my greatest common factor of 24 and 8, or I'm sorry, 24 and 40, is 8. So now I'm going to do the same thing over on this side, but I'm going to find the least common multiple. So my factor trees will look identical, just like this. So if you look at it, all I did was I did 6 times 4, which I could factor down to 2 times 3. Those are both primes, so I circle them. Then I got my 4, 2 times 2 is... 4, and I go over to here, I did 4 times 10, and I factored them down to prime factorization. Now, I do the same exact thing that I did over on the other side, and I can list out what each of them equal as a prime factorization. This is where the difference comes in. Now I'm comparing. Remember I said it's kind of like 24 is, is battling against 40. So let's look up at 24. I've got, it one, I've got a 2, 2, Two. I have three twos total up here. How many do I have in the bottom? I've got one, two, three. I have the exact same amount. So what you do is it's like a tied ball game. You get to pick who who you want to win, kind of like the Lions game the other day where the refs picked um, for our opponent to win because the ball was knocked out of bounds, remember? So anyway, <laughs> so we pick, let's just pick 24. So I circle all the twos on 24. It's where they occur the most. Well, they occur the same, so I just chose to, to pick the 24 instead. The next thing I look at is where else ones occur the most. So I've got a 3 right here. How many times does the 3 occur here? None. So because it occurs the most up here, I circle it. Then I go down, I look, I've already got my twos, and that's one thing I forgot to do. Because we've already talked about the twos, we've already compared them, we X them out. 
There's no other 3's to x out, so I'm not going to x anything out. Now I have a 5. How, does, how many times does 5 occur up here? None. So the bottom one we circle. Then you multiply all the ones you have circled. So it's 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 5. So now you just multiply straight across. So I've got 2 times 3. Let me get my pointer. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is uh, 24. 24 times 5 happens to be 120. So my least common multiple of 24 and 40 is 120. Much different when I compare. This is my greatest common factor. This is my least common multiple. This is where we have to focus our differences. So if you can handle and remember the different ways to do it, you'll be in good shape. I hope this helps. Good luck on your quiz tonight.